happens here, but us, Harry. We appreciate that you're worried about us. He's all right. There's no problem. Let me put the gun away. We're okay. Put your hands up now. Do it or you both die. All right. All right. Everything's okay. What's going on? Good old Harry here works for Sorrell. Don't you, Harry? I know. So you work for Sorrell, hmm? Give the boy a gold star. He's smarter than he looks. Okay, look. I've known Sorrell long enough to know what he wants. He's after Sonny Corinthos. And he thinks that I'm the connection. He could care less about Emily. She has nothing to do with this. I have my orders. Okay, look, Sorrell wants me. And I'm here. You got me. This is easy to work out. Nobody has to get hurt. You just tell me what to do, and I'll do it. Okay, hotshot. Let's move to the door. Real slow. It's no problem. No problem. Okay, now we have a problem. Don't worry. Don't worry, Harry wouldn't do anything stupid. If a gun goes off in here, 20 people will be in here before he gets to the door. The cops will come in and haul him off to jail. That's a pretty steep price to pay for following orders. No more tricks with the call button. Okay, okay, I won't do anything, I swear. Just please go back to Sorrell and tell him that you never saw Xander here. Why the hell would I do that? Please don't take him. Okay, Emily, I'm going with him. No! Hey, listen. Nothing bad's gonna happen, okay? I'll be fine. My daughter recuperating from a serious injury in my hospital, and one of Sorrell's men waltzes in here, pulls a gun on her? Dad, please, don't be upset, okay? Xander was only trying to help. You, sh you should have seen what he did. He calmed down the gunman and got him to go out in the hall. You could have done even more injury to yourself from that fall. I know. It, that was my fault, okay? I was fidgeting. I was, I was trying to get this thing so that I could call the nurse. It's just... It's really frustrating not being able to move. Well, the good news is you're going to be fine. Your range of movement tells me that there isn't any serious damage, but I need to check you out, Em. Okay. You want me to wait outside? Yes, please. It's okay. You're going to be okay now. I know. Cops are here. There's no way Sorrell's guys can get in here. Thank you for everything. So what happened in there? I already told Emily's father. In the I want to hear it again. The uncensored version. The guy had a gun. He threatened Emily, but I don't think he would have shot her because there's too great of a chance of him getting caught. Yeah, but here, here. Would there have been a gunman if it wasn't for you? Ned, you and I have already been through this, okay? I don't really want to act like I'm looking for... I am looking 
for a solution. Obviously, you sitting at Emily's bedside with a gun isn't working. Ned, she can't walk. Okay? She is scared, even if she doesn't say it. Now, if I bail on Emily right now, she's going to think it's because I don't believe that she can get better. That I don't want her because she's going to be stuck in some wheelchair. No, no, no. Emily knows you better than that. Yeah, well, she won't if I disappear. She's going to have her grandfather in her ear telling her over and over again what a waste I am. And everything he says, it used to be true. I didn't give a damn about anything. Nothing in my life was real or important or worth caring about until Emily. Do you know how crazy it was for me to come back from Canada just to see her? Or to jump bail and go to California just to get her? I did it because Emily matters. I did it because she means something to me. And now I think that this is the reason why. So that when something terrible happened, and Emily needed me like she does right now, that I would be ready here to be able to love her like she needs me to. Look, I trust Emily. And she says that you are worth everything that she's gone through. So maybe you are. But I will not let Emily get shot at again. And neither will you. So what's the answer? How do we keep Emily safe and still have you with her? Carry on. This can't wait. No, it can't. Okay, what is so urgent that Ned and I had to leave Emily's side to speak privately with you? I want you to keep Emily as far away from me as possible.